This here is your neighbor. If I see your trash pill on my property again, I'll call the police. I will have you prosecuted to the full extent of the law. And this is how you handle it. After many wasted hours of legal research taken on by the police, if any, will result in an outcome of poor judgment on your part. But you obviously imagine my garbage can a dozen or so inches over from where it was purposely left by our trustworthy trash man. Aside from you officially winning the Worst Neighbor in the World Award, what do you suggest the garbage man do after emptying the receptacle? Pull out a tape measure and intricately decide whether or not the pail was blown four inches over by the wind? Complaining about nothing is something you will have to live with, as I really could care less, but I laugh at you, most likely as well as half the block, because your flagrant false and annoying complaints are just another symptom of your sad and pathetic life. I suggest you stop hallucinating that my garbage can ended up on your property, pal, and take your anger out on your psychiatrist that prescribed you the wrong medication. This is your accountant. I'm going to have to charge you for the extra time. You need to call me in advance, which now states on the flyer. This is your rebuttal. Are you living in a time machine? If you think that my company will hire you again, even though you impose revised payment policies after invoice, you are sadly mistaken. Even if you had a subject to revision clause in your disclaimer, you still cannot bill a client for imaginary business. But as we know, you can't even make your case with the finest of print. So how in the world do you figure you can charge us for phantom accounting? As I see it, my case is simple. This is a policy that you had not clearly presented to my company at the time of signing. You lose.